And we're live. Butts are dragging. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Dina. Yes, it's Monday fun day. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Kitty. I'm moving very slow today, guys. We I stayed up till 5.30 this morning getting everything packaged and invoiced so I wouldn't have to do it today. <laughs> slow. Oh, no, Nate's here. Thank God. <laughs> so the whole emoji thing has been fixed. Um, YouTube is aware of it. So emoji on. <laughs> Make sure you hit that thumbs up, guys. Yeah, that oval, I'm telling you. When Alan pulled it out, I said, oh, it's so much better dry. It's so much darker now. I like it so much better. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. I have been a boxing mad woman since the auction last night, so everybody's is boxed. Everybody contacted me. We are golden. No pushing or shoving. There's plenty of room. <laughs> Grab your drinks, grab your snacks, and we'll get the show started. <laughs> Dina. <laughs> it was a fun auction, um, actually. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do more coasters and jewelry like that because you guys ate that right up, and I was so happy. You know, sometimes you just don't know um, what people want. So now we know. All right, Al, want to show last week's paintings? I only did one. Do I have to? Yeah, you have to. <laughs> Hi, Gizzy. <laughs> All right, so this was my injection bore. Kind of a weird outcome. I like what it did on the edges. Not real crazy about the blue on the inside, but got some work to do yet. Yeah. What? Work your way down. Okay, so no, no, keep on down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you date these? I didn't. That's not my job. <laughs> it's your job. Uh oh. What date should I put on them? I think the fourth. You were correct. I am correct, even though I'm tired. Hi, Mustafa. I sure can, Maria. Then this was my strainer pour. We were discussing this earlier. Color choices, color choices, color choices. Yeah, we were discussing. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. You are. Choose better colors. I'll just do my man of white. Here, you can talk about this one. That is our fall colors with some gold and bronze and copper. And I just love this one. So 
So we do have an autofocus apparently because it's still hard beating. Run! <laughs> run, Forrest, run! Turned it down to like 2%. That's probably why. So Alan has a nifty little gadget that he got from Kathy Carr that he's going to use. I'm um, going to have to put a regular pad down. I just put a white pad down. So. Do you want me to take the white pad up? No, leave it there. That's for paint mixing. It's fine. And I'm going to warn you, my stomach's been talking to us. Oh, my goodness. I never should have fed you a salad for dinner. Thanks, Tina. Camera's a little crooked too. Put your canvas up and then you can tell if it's off or not. Might need to bring it down a little too. Yeah, you're too far away. Now that you've gotten everybody seasick. <laughs> it's just yeah. waves in the ocean. So, gadget time. You said courtesy of Kathy Carr. We have a sink strainer. With spoons. With spoons. I told him, I said, this could be interesting, pouring paint through spoons. <laughs> Everybody's getting snow. I'm jelly. No, no snow here, yeah. I just like the first snowfall, that's it. Well, then, why don't you go visit your mom? Well, I'm not sure what he's doing with it, Maria, because I said that to him, too, about taking the black um, rubber seal off of that. Is that just screwed on or is it soldered on? On the bottom, Alan, you'll be able to tell. Mm, it's kind of it's screwed on, but it's wedged on. I'll pull it off. No, I can take it. it off. Yeah, take it off because I think you'll get more um, design. There you go. Like that? Yeah. Make it more fun. It's 54 here, guys. Sorry. 54? <laughs> yeah, I asked um, our little friend over here earlier when Maria told me it was snowing there. Take the mirror out of the way. I know. I can't believe we had to pull that out again. Psst, yourself, Maria. <laughs> Who's psst mm. us? Oh, because she was telling me about Magoo out in the snow. Ugh. Yeah, the wind chill's the worst.
green flash. Yeah. Need another green. Yeah, need a dark green in between those. Like maybe the emerald green. Emerald green. Yeah. So he's going green. Greens and yellow. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> Shelly, are you going to the show this weekend? <laughs> Maria's whacking her for being late. Ugh, that's cold, Jen. It's too early to be that cold. Okay, boss, you okay with the order okay. that I've got? Okay. Make sure you shake that first because it's been sitting. I said it's talking. Your stomach. It's okay, bruh. <clears throat> I had that happen to me on a Monday night. Yeah, they are doing it. Um, it's 8 to 5 shell, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So just keep that in mind. Brian doesn't get Cheetos, Nate. <laughs> I don't get Cheetos. No, you don't get Cheetos either. I'm surprised these girls aren't sick of Cheetos by now. All right, here we go. <laughs> what are we talking about? I should Besides send food. I should I should send Judy a message and say, uh, we're live. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't like the spicy ones either. Yeah, power of suggestion, Heather. I do like the pop, so remember we used to sit and eat the whole bag? <laughs> then we'd sit there with our hands all orange and say, um. <laughs> now we could just take our gloves to bed and eat Cheetos with those on. That's true. We could do that. When we're done. doubt it Brian that's probably how they started making those the the mistakes from the puffs <laughs> the mistake bin <laughs> Dina. I'm a chips and dip girl, aren't I? Lightly salted chips with dip. Now you're out of focus. That's weird. I didn't do it. I swear. The camera did it. We got some cold weather coming this way, though. 
We do? Yeah. Tomorrow. Lows in the 20s. Put your canvas forward a little. Does that mean I have to take my summer clothes out of the closet now? Probably. Winter's coming because I had to pull out my winter PJs. <laughs> My goodness. And the funny thing is there's people still running around in shorts. I like how Nate says he won't eat salad actually, but boy, you'll scarf a taco. <laughs> right, Nate? <laughs> taco Bell. Um, Kathy, I just mix it like regular paint. It'll come out white in your um, painting, but when it dries, it'll be that violet hue. So, should I elevate this? Um, let me see the bottom. Because we got the whole... Yeah, it's got a lip. I would leave it the way it is, because you might get some cool patterning going out with those spoons. Yeah, but... <laughs> Nate Minces is Jack Bowes. Color choices. Creative inspiration. Cad yellow light. Lucas pastel yellow. Remember to turn the cameras the other way. Our standard black from Creative Inspiration and Folk Art Emerald Flash. Soho <laughs> Emerald Green. And Deco Art Dark Patina. What do you think? Start here? Start I'd, here. I would start with your, uh, whatever color you want to um, sell out in your white on the edge. I would probably start with the flash. <clears throat> Hi, Melody. Hello, Kathy. Did they discontinue it, Maria? Because I haven't bought it in a long time. Discontinued what? Dark Patina. Well, that's a bummer. yellow next one and then black or the yellow yellow the yellow 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 yeah and then the pastel yellow and then the black Nate you can still have tacos just put them on lettuce leaves <laughs> Lots of carbs. Yeah, we had a good time at the auction last night. I'm glad to see everybody's back. Just 
interesting that I'm not getting any. Don't monkey with it because then you'll lose your pattern. Is it going out? I see it coming out. The yellow. So you should the yellows fine. are coming out here, but not uh, very much on the back side. Well, that's the way you squirt it in there. Squirt around the center instead of the I edges. Did, but I have to take it out too. So I'm just going to tinker it here just a little. I have to do the whole way now because I'll throw off your pattern. I don't think so. Have faith, hon. I had a blankie, I'd be sleeping. <laughs> Jennifer. That sounds good, Linda. Vegan taco meat with walnuts and lentils. I know. Why don't we always talk about food? We didn't talk about food or we talk about something else. About snacks. There you go, Charlie. That's a good one. He said, y'all have Cheetos and tacos. I'm having a margarita. <laughs> I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. I like his bubbly cells there in the middle. It's kind of neat. Do break it. <laughs> I'll fix it for you, Alan. I cleaned it. That was the problem. There you go. I think. Show them that middle before you stretch it. It's pretty cool. Isn't that pretty? Don't know where the spoons went, but it did leave some unique designs in there. That sounds good, Julie. Peppermint shrimps and cocoa. I got that York peppermint patty hot chocolate in the cover. You do. Mm. I'm surprised you haven't hit it yet. I forgot until she just said that. <laughs> I'm going to go over you. 
get stretched out. Mm. Thin mints. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. <laughs> Alan, would you go get me some peppermint panties later? From where? From the store. You have to go get milk anyways. I am such a cookie freak. It's not even funny. I will eat a cookie before I'll eat anything else. I like I like cookies and I like cheesecake and I like pie. I do, Shelly. Oh, I love the dark chocolate mulatto. I'm sorry. <laughs> I buy them from Amazon in the tub. Because. <laughs> Nate knows how much I like cookies. I love molasses cookies with a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Guys, trying to distract me, aren't you? We're talking about cookies while you're painting. We make what usually 144 dozen cookies at Christmas time. Between 120 and 150. Then he takes trays full to work. And Alan is the eggnog connoisseur. He, as soon as he sees it in the store, he buys it. He, he didn't have any yet, so he got uh, eggnog ice cream instead. Uh, yeah, Alan loves shortbread cookies. Um, Jen, I would put a coat of varnish over it. Putting putting photos on paintings is kind of hard to do. You could, um, oh, what do I want to say? Like decoupage it. And then resin over it. Oh, I got recipes, Shell. I used to work at a bakery. <laughs> he also has family recipes. Your family recipes, yeah, too. Yeah, my grand, my Aunt Stephanie's sugar cookies are to die for. They're so good. Paint now. There's Judy. Judy, all your stuff is boxed and ready to go tomorrow. <clears throat> Look at those little itty bitty cells right in there. OK, 
Okay, question is, do I need to pour Teresa, off? are you lagging again? <laughs> do I need to pour this off here on the edges? I think I do. That's all your paint in the middle, though. Yeah. Uh, for Christmas one year, I made my boys all recipe boxes with all of their favorites in the box. I laminated all the recipes. Yeah, that would be a good one, too. Did you ever get the picture albums done? No, I have to go in and steal Chris's box of pictures because he has it in his room. <laughs> That's true, Maria. <laughs> so, um, Jacob is working on a logo for us for aprons. He's gonna we're gonna sit down tomorrow and work on it. So hopefully we'll have um, three different patterns to pick from. But they will be black aprons. Hi, Shelly. Turn it this way. Okay, Nate. So you're getting squiggly now because you shouldn't have tipped it. Hi, Becky. Sure. So everybody that paid for their auction pieces today, those boxes are all going out tomorrow. Alan's got one great big pile. <laughs> Thank you everyone for supporting us during the auction. There's Terry, Teresa, she's back. We missed you. <laughs> Trying to bring my design back from the de dead. Now it's very abstract, which is kind of cool too. Carrie, we could do a layaway plan. You're really in the glare. Sorry, I'll move it. Whatever went on in here, we just can't like expand it.
Yes, the land of hidden spoons. <laughs> Spoon me tonight. Clean up my edges. Aw, uh, Shelly, that's sweet. Thank you for doing that. I probably would have done the same thing. Here we go. I put a chair over here. Skins? No. No? Maria, if you want them, come get them. <laughs> she said, darn it. No, I don't see anything there I want. Nothing that tickles your fancy? Nothing tickles my fancy. I'm so tired I wouldn't feel it anyway. <laughs> Hi, Melanie. You are not late. Don't worry. We just did one painting. I went first, so. Yes, you did. So I'm curious to see what Christina is going to do. You be quiet. You, she's she, been she hop. pensive all she hop bunch. afternoon, evening. Yeah, what you said. <laughs> How many people can understand Polish? Uh, Kristen, we have a paint mixing video. Uh, the link for that should be below the live in the description. Next thing you're doing, you're going to call me Sue Speaks Polish. Who Speaks Polish? Susan. Yay. I only know the bad stuff because that's all my dad did was swear at us in Polish. <laughs> Okay, so um, if you're in the group, you know we came out with our winter line. We have five beautiful pastels. These are iridescent pearls. Boy, are they shiny. So I'll give you a quick peek how they dry. Hopefully I can get that sheen to show. They're very shiny. So that's frostbit pink. This is Icy Arctic Teal. Fresh Powder Blue. Winter's Lavender Pearl. And Snow White Iridescent Pearl. So they're all really pretty colors. So we have these, they're $8.50 a bottle if you wanna order email me. I have 10 sets mixed up ready to go um, with or without silicon and I also have them in the jars if you want to mix your own. Now when mixing pearls you have to add your flow trawl first. Don't add your glue. If you use glue don't add your glue first because you'll get the glops and you'll have to stir like crazy to thin them out. So you'll be adding your flow trawl first you know, equal amounts, and then add the glue, and then you can add more flow trial to get it to consistency. 
So we're probably going to be using these on this painting. Well, a couple of them anyway. But before I do that, I have some to give away. What you giving away? Paints. So I have two sets tonight we're giving away. These will come in a padded envelope. And we're going to do our normal number bingo <laughs> that everybody loves. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and pick a number. Yeah, I better change that. I don't want to go that high. All right, guys. Are we all ready? Okay. Rules of engagement. Number between 1 and 50. Just guess once, please. If you don't get it on the first roll, we'll do it again. And time to start is now. There we have And we have a winner. Stop the scroll. Oh, it's going to scroll. Stop the scroll. Go up. Uh, Michelle Gibson is our winner, number 33. So, Michelle, email me at christinawelchart at yahoo.com, and we'll get these mailed out to you. Oops, I'm going to do one more. You're going to do another one? Yeah, let's do another one. Okay, now we haven't started the second one yet. No. So everybody that's guessing right now, you're either you're lagging. lagging. <laughs> so Maria, tell everybody to refresh. And make sure you're on the. They are lag. Yeah. Tell them they are lagging. They need to refresh, and we will wait thirty seconds because they'll have to get through probably an ad to come back in. So the ones that I'm sending you do not have silicone. <laughs> they need to be on live chat too. That's probably why they're lagging. I do. Yeah, I, I put silicone in my paints. If I don't put silicone in, I have them in a cup usually. Carrie says, well, now I'm wondering how to refresh when you're on the TV. I don't know. Go out and come back in. <laughs> See, yeah, that's probably the best bet. Hello again, Lynn. Yeah, I want everybody to have a chance, you know. We just dropped four, so a couple people went out. I'll we'll be right back. 107. Sunny is back. Dina. <laughs> that was a while ago, Dina. <laughs> Must be those Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Lisa Hill is back. <laughs> a couple more seconds, we'll wait.
Okay. okay I don't see this. 10. I don't see the screen rolling. So I guess we will be ready to go again. Remember, a number between one and fifty. Please only guess once. Can I see it? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Are you ready? Go. Stop. Oh, my goodness, Alan Welch. Because if you wait too long, you'll never get to it. We have a winner, guys. You can stop. And the winner is Judy. <laughs> These will have no silicone, Judy. <laughs> Number was 22. She was the first guest with the 22. So I'll be sending these to Judy as well. Oh, Alan, we might as well do one more. We'll do one more, guys. Patty's still lagging. <laughs> Did you pick a number this time? It's easier to see. Okay, one more, guys. A number between one and 50. Are you ready? Go. Oh. Stop. We have a winner, Patricia Rouse, number 11. That was quick, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's play with these a little bit, see how they look. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to show, Maria wanted to see this past week's uh, Dutch pours, so I'll show you those really quick. And then we'll get started on this one. So this is the round. You can see the shimmers in our paints. This one was the triangle. I have to wait a second, Maria. And this is the one with the muscadine wine. Oh, Amber had it first. I can't read messages and do this at the same time. And then we have uh, the long one. Yeah, we got that. So Amber had it before nice. Patricia. Why didn't I see that? I must have not scrolled up far enough. Well, that's okay. We'll send them to both of them. I have another set. So Patricia, you're still going to get them. That was my mistake. <laughs> So those were last week's Duchess. They dried beautiful and shiny. Now the paint that I used for the background on these was the Master's Touch. <coughs> Let me grab it real quick. So I bought this new paint from Hobby Lobby 
it's liquid acrylic. So all I had to do was add a little bit of water to this. And I just gave it a squirt of gap because I didn't want it to crack. But that's why these dried so shiny because the paint must have um, some kind of varnish mixed in with it or something. But it kind of acted like the paints that you're getting from Artist Loft, those ready to pours. So I was happy. This is very watery, so you don't have to add a lot of water to it. But um, you get it on sale, half price before you buy it. But it worked really well for the Dutch pours. Becky wants to know, do you change your paint for Dutch pours? Yeah, I use this. Oh, you mean the the paints that we put in the colors? Um, I use straight pigment and I water it down with some Liquitex pouring medium and then water to get it to that really runny consistency. All right. And I always put in a touch of gack because I don't want any cracking or crazing. Not that I don't get, I'd never have gotten it with my poured paints um, because I, my recipe works and I don't have any cracking or crazing. Okay, so definitely want to use the Snow White Pearl Iridescent, Iridescent Pearl. Got to get those right. And I do want to use the Arctic Teal. Okay, got a couple quick questions. And that wants to know, do you sell the small bottles or any samples? No, I don't. Those are teaser packs that we give away for prizes. It's um, more expensive for me to buy those little bottles than it is for me to buy these big ones. So. And then Lisa Hill's asking, what is GAC? Uh, GAC 800 from Golden. One ounce. That's all you need is one ounce in these bottles and it'll keep it from cracking. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some Dalarani Contrast. This is Phalo Turquoise. And I'm going to use our Gold Rush as well. And I don't want to put the lavender in there. So those colors. We may not get to use them all tonight, but I just wanted to show you how they perform. Hmm. I still want something darker. Let's go with the Soho Phalo Green because that's really dark. And I just have a little bit of that. Brian's calling either for wine or he's drinking a glass of wine. Yeah, I wouldn't do wine with those, Brian. <laughs> okay. No, I don't put red and green together. You always get mud. And Annette wants to know what paint was the base coat? I didn't put, a, put a base. I didn't put a base. So I'm just going to do um, a swift dirty pour, ribbon pour, because I want to see how they interact with the other paint, because I have not used them yet. So this is a first for me, too. So I'm going to start with the Snow White. And they all come with white erasers on these. And we'll go with, I'm going to go with a little bit of gold next. And then I'm going to throw in that phalo, green, blue. Ah, haven't used that one in a while. Boogers. We need to uh, change out bottles pretty soon. I heard it. There's where we'll put the icy Arctic teal. And then the Dalarani to Phalo Turquoise. We'll go back to the beginning. That Snow White is so pretty, you guys. And 
Alan's favorite sound. Which means he has to wash a bottle. <laughs> Dana Parsons is scolding Ryan and saying, you defy the laws of paint, and it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He can throw 30 colors in a cup, make it work. Okay, Lisa's got a question. How long do they last in there? Oh, I've Maybe got the bottles. I've got bottles up here that have been here since last year. If you haven't used them in a long time, take your cap off and clean your nozzle so that you don't have any chunks, any dried paint in there that's going to go into your cup. But other than that, they should be fine. They're just so shiny when I put them in this cup. They're so pretty. Okay. I'm going to give it a small swirl just to uh, mix it just a smidge. Okay, so I'm just going to do my thing. Our Arctic is coming up with the white. I did not spray my cups, my bad. <laughs> uh oh. I should have showed me inside a cup before he scraped it out. It's been a long day, guys. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Definitely want that white in there a little bit. This will just help it move. All right. Give that a quick little torch. Lots of cells. So when you do a ribbon and you have those gappy spots, just wiggle it. You don't have to tilt it, just wiggle it. And just move it around a little bit. It'll come together. And sometimes it gives you a really cool effect. It makes like a poof where the paint folded over so it doesn't match the other one. So it gives it like a really cool effect, like right there. In the center where it looks like it's almost sucked into the vortex. Mm -hmm. That's kind of neat. All right, so all my paint should be moving freely. You can always rock to get it to come together when you're aiming for one area. The thing with, with a hex though, you have all these points to cover. <laughs> so I like to have a little bit of paint there to push a little bit off, but not a lot. Carrie Hamilton said, the winter vortex. And Mylene says her three-year-old daughter did a pour today, and she asked for more canvas. You're in trouble, Mylene. You've created a monster. <laughs> I know for a fact my granddaughter would pour paint if she had it. 
getting art supplies where they live, there's no craft stores at all. I would have to ship her stuff all the time. Now I'm just moving the pattern to where I want it. Carrie Hamilton says this is giving her a beachy vibe. Beachy vibe. Her four-year-old daughter, granddaughter, loves the four also. Start them young. The only thing is, is, you know, if you do it too much with them, they might lose interest. A little bit. A little bit. It's a bubble. It's a bubble. It went back down. Uh, Lisa Hill says, you do, I was asking, you do not put pins on your canvas? I do. Pins and tape. So let me give you a close up. The vortex is still intact. That white's going to be so shiny when it dries because it's pearled. And that, of course, the gold will be piled there. I didn't want to pour it off because I didn't want to lose this. And I wish I would have had more of that um, Soho green blue because that would have been a little more contrast in this area. But I run out. <laughs> I'm going to move this one. Loving the colors. Everybody says pretty. Very pretty. They're gorgeous colors. And these uh, pearls are so not me. You guys know I like color. So when I did the winter line, I said, I have to give the people what they want. <laughs> Everybody was asking for pearls. So <clears throat> I want to see if I can pick up the sparkle on the towel. Probably not. But the towel is just all sparkle from the iridescent. But they were mixed with a pearl. So we should get quite a bit of uh, pearl um, shine from those as well. Dixie says, looks like awesome skins. Kathy F says, she loves your color choice. Whenever you're picking a color to paint with, you want to make sure you have something to contrast with that color. Like I picked the Arctic teal, so that's why I was going with the darker turquoises. Because it pops that color out more. Because if I wouldn't have used that dark teal, it, the painting would have been muted. And that's not what you want. Um, unless that is your goal, is to have a very soft painting with light colors. I'm all about contrast when I pour. And balance, because if something's unbalanced, it drives me crazy. So I'm going to go live this week, um, possibly Wednesday. Uh, Jenny sent me another goodie box with all kinds of stuff in it. And, of course, we will have a coupon code to get a discount in her Etsy shop for the products that I'll be showing you. So I just want to give you guys a heads up on that. It'll be during the afternoon, so if you miss it, you can watch it when you get home from work. 
as long as nobody calls me during it. Because <laughs> that phone just loves to ring when I'm filming. I could sit here all day and the phone won't ring. But the minute I go to do something, the phone rings. Anybody else have that problem? Marlene, Marlene's leaving early. Good night, Marlene. Can I get some sleep? Good luck tomorrow. She's going to go see her lipid specialist. Okay, so I put those skins on waterproof foil paper so they will dry nice and flat. They're going to make some beautiful snaps. There's lots of coolness in here with little tiny cells. I'm in love with this one. I see necklaces. <laughs> necklaces? Necklaces. And earrings to match. All right, boo boo. Brian, Alan's turn. Got to go grab the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> He's so mean to you. <clears throat> Hello, Jennifer from Tennessee. A neighbor. Good luck, my name. She's always in our prayers, guys. She's a fighter. Oh, Teresa, please, can I have your phone then? <laughs> yeah, borrow that phone. Her phone never rings. Um, Carrie, we go to 11. We have another hour. Uh, Lisa, I can email those to you with all the colors we have because now we have 25 colors. Uh, the fall paint the fall paint will be continued probably until January. And then I think I'm only going to pull two out of that collection to keep. And then this winter line will run until probably February. February. 25, Carol. We have 12 of the original colors that we'll always have. We have the four metallics, the four from the fall line, and now we have five from the uh, winter collection. Yeah, Teresa's definitely lagging. She's talking about square earrings from when I pulled those skins a bit ago. <laughs> I do have some square bracelets um, settings that I could probably take those bracelets apart to make the smaller square earrings. And I think I did find the glass calves for those on Amazon. But if not, I can always do them with resin. So I mentioned a couple weeks ago, when you get in a funk, go back to the basics. I'm in a funk. You're in a funk? I'm in a funk. I think you're just tired and you just don't know what to do. Funkadilly. Hey, Molly. We're just waiting on Alan to pick some colors. 
no pressure or anything, you know. Check your pouch, Alan. They might be in your pouch. <laughs> I pull a rabbit out of my hat. I hate posting dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, if anybody wants to go get a drink or go to the bathroom or make some All right. popcorn. All that, right, that'll be enough of that. Oh, Linda, I'm the same way. I'll sit here and spend a whole day cleaning the studio, and it takes me one day to mess it all back up. Yes, you should have seen it today. Of course, she has a good reason. It's not too bad right now. Not now. Hi, Kelly. I don't pick on him, Beth. It's all in fun. He's used to it. He does it to me, too. He just doesn't do it in front of you guys. You gotta have thick skin. <laughs> thick skin. Okay, I have an 11 by 14 canvas. <laughs> I'm gonna use the WD-40 silicone You're spray for my down, cups. Maybe. Do you want me to turn the camera back the other way? <laughs> No, he doesn't get the dinosaur reference, Nate. I'll explain to him later. Do that. Okay. So, color choices. I just have to decide what order I want to put them in. What's that one you have in your hand? Lucas Gold Bronze. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a taupey color, and I was looking at that mint green color you had there. I was like, ew. <laughs> okay. Lucas Gold Bronze. Decor Teal Topaz. Everybody loved that, Maria. You were the only one, well, you and Shelly were the only ones that said that. But everybody else liked the angle. Fine touch ocean green. Hi, Cecilia. Soho Thalo Blue. An unmarked burgundy. That's a homemader. A homemader? Yeah, it's a homemader. Which brand is that? Uh, uh, it's probably Soho home. Mix. Homemader, Home where can you buy that? Craftsmart, Purple Pearl. And then I'm going with just the white. So I'm trying to figure out, let's go with this order here. Let's start with the purples. Oh, the phalo blue. That's what she's talking about. Alan is, him and Brian are not afraid of color at all. The colors they put together, I'm like, oh! <laughs> he's using up paint. That's why he's picking all these funky colors, aren't you? I am. He likes to wash bottles. I'm really good with bottle washer. You are an awesome bottle washer. You already killed one. We'll give you that one. It's right here. Terry says she's got a bunch, but you want to wash hers? Bring them over. <laughs> Brian says he's got a whole box you can wash. I bet you they're all Parage Posse paint bottles, aren't they, Brian? <laughs> I 
couple of hot buckets of hot soapy water and a baby bottle brush. Let them soak, scrub them out, rinse them twice, and you're good to go. They are. <laughs> Terry said she'd surprise you if she showed up. <laughs> Keep wash them, Terry. I'm telling you. We need a bottle washing station, though. <laughs> She's got a niece in the area. She could come visit. <laughs> About a washing station? Yeah. Yeah, well, we don't put water down our drains, so. Ah. I think we need a little touch of black in there, too. Shelly's going to mail express hers tomorrow. Bring them in. Right down the center. He's so proud of you. He's breaking cups. I had to. You forgot to. That's usually my move. I know. Why did I forget? I don't Probably know. Probably because you're tired. I am very tired. Oh, Shelly, we have probably 300 bottles. About 180 of them are full of paint. And then those jugs that we used for the base coats, we have probably, what, 40 of those full of paint. Oh, that's pretty. I hope you have enough paint. I love that gold bronze in there. It's yummy. Yes, I have inspired a lot of people to have their own paint wall. <laughs> um, I changed the brightness setting, Maria. That's probably what it is. I got to set it back to where it was before. Big question is... Do I have enough paint? That's what I asked you. You might need to fill one more cup. One more cup. I wish I had three walls to put shelves on. I only have two. So I have 10 shelves of paint. Well, nine shelves of paint. Plus I have paint all over the side of the table too. I take it right out of the gallon shell. <laughs> Don't lay out with glue. Well, and glue. <laughs> I I mix way too much. Let's just say that. What well, let's just say that the uh, recycling station's wondering where all these bottles, empty bottles of Floetrol and glue are coming from. That one's now dead. Okay. guys have been watching me a while you know I just had that little spot out here in the garage and now I have the whole garage 
I know it, Mal. Isn't it something else? I have no more room out here. I'm full. Don't let her kid you, kid you, Molly. She's got room. Where? We got shelves that we could put on the second story in here. Oh, on the ceiling thing? Yeah. On the beams? <laughs> on the beams. Uh, Kelly, I do. Um, it's from November of last year. We did a studio tour. Yeah, that's what I say too, Ma. When we get hurricanes coming, it's like, well, the car's not coming in here. <laughs> Yep. I have all these cabinets lined up against the um, garage door, so I'd have to empty all those cabinets, and there's, what, five of them? Oh, my goodness. It would be awful. It'd take me two days to move it all so he could bring the car in. Thanks, Maria. She just posted the studio to her link if anybody wants to take a peek of course we've added and deleted since then but it's you get the gist <laughs> we're in north carolina Well, I bought Alan a shed, his man cave. It's what, 12 by 20? Yep. So we took everything out of the garage and put it in his shed. And he never goes out there. That's not true. Well, to grind tiles. Yeah. To grind tiles. Now I'm going to put a little white down. Because I don't want any... Try to avoid the folding over. Yes, we get our hurricane scares every year, don't we? Mm hmm But it's not too bad. So Shelly wants to know whatever happened to your leaf blower for. Yeah. You have that painting at work, don't you? I do. Did you see Rob's that he did with the light blower? No. He did one. No, in fact, I did see his tree pour. Where he painted the roots coming out of the ground. And I told him, I said, we have those trees here in North Carolina. I have a picture to send him. You should do that. I went over the bank and took the picture. Oh, she said you were going to do one outside. I was. I was, but... We've had some crazy weekends, though. The weather's not cooperating with us at all on the weekends. Busy weekends and... We've been on the go. TJ's giving us a run for our money right now. <laughs> He's getting in trouble at the uh, rehab center. He's being a bully. So Alan had to go deal with that this weekend. A little lecture, that's all. I'm just touching up these edges before I pour a little more of this off. Shelly's doing good. He's walking with his prosthetic leg about 100 feet a day now. And um, he's pretty much taking care of himself. I need to go down and give him a haircut and take except, his winter comforter down. And 
Except when somebody closes the bathroom door on him. Yeah. He can't open the bathroom door the way that he's sitting. So his roommate pushed it closed the other day and he got, he got irate. <laughs> he was shaking his fist at people because he can't talk. So they took that as him being combative and they called me and, you know, we had, Ellen had to go down and talk to him. Yeah, he's frustrated for sure. I'm hoping by next year he'll be up and walking with just the prosthetic and not be in a wheelchair anymore. The paint is still flowing, Carrie. We have missed you. Where you been, girlfriend? Um, Kendra, that was just a mix I did with uh, crimson and ultramarine blue. I like the gold bronze in there with that mix, that burgundy mix. Um, Kendra, we have um, muscadine wine. Is can you show her that real quick? Victoria's Muscadine Wine. That's the color that we have in the uh, Praj Posse paints. It's a little bit lighter than what he used, just a tad. It doesn't dry quite as dark. <sighs> happen. Yes, we have a lot of carries that follow us. <laughs> Still a lot of pain in there. Is it like moving when you pick it up like that? Hello, Antoinette. <laughs> Gary. Silly Gary. Would you like to see it move? Yes, it's still falling. Well, let's see how you wiggled to that one side. Take it back the other way so you can take some of that off. To this side here. No, back the other way. This I mean, I love that corner Sorry. over there. You could bring it completely down towards you if you want to get rid of some more paint. I don't want to lose the... You need to work on your corners too. You need an edge over here that's not covered. Oh, 
I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it alone. Just give your edgies. You got one here. That's pretty, honey. Nice job. Uh, Patty, yeah, we have um, silicone in all of our bottles. We use the treadmill silicone. Sorry, guys. Wow, you should see the skins on this sucker. Go ahead, pull some. Uh, the treadmill silicone is what creates our cells, yes. I use one drop for every two ounces of paint. You don't want to overdo it because sometimes you can use too much and it just all your cells break apart. You can use the um, WD-40 silicone. I would spray it in a separate container and just put drops in. And Shelly just posted the link for the treadmill silicone in the Amazon shop. Mm. We haven't decided what we're going to do for your coworkers yet, babe. For what? For Christmas gifts. <laughs> I'm right there with you, Shelly. I have probably 20 paintings um, laying against the walls that need to be hung. And I don't know how many just like everywhere that need to be hung. <laughs> Dana posted bobbles. Mm. Yeah, I haven't been in much today, Dana. I've been shipping all day. Um, Patty, we use these to make jewelry. We um, cut them out, put the glass cabs on them and cut them out. Or you can just cut them out, set them in bezels and use resin to coat them with. <sighs> Shelly's posting a link, uh, Patty, for you to see um, how we do our jewelry. And I'm going to be doing a live on Wednesday um, showing you how I glue the cabs and cut out for snap jewelry. And this next link that Shelly just shared is for the uh, waterproof photo paper. And yes, we do have the round ceramic tiles in our Amazon shop now. Um, Kitty, I just wipe them off with a little bit of alcohol and a paper towel where I can see silicone. But normally when you're doing the skins, um, the diamond glaze does not lift off of those. I have not had any problems with silicone. But if you are going to resin them, yes, you'd want to, to definitely clean them. What is next on your agenda, Mrs. Welch?
Um, Antoinette, I'm going to try to do another one before Christmas, but it's going to be all small stuff that I can ship quick. Sorry, Nate. Oh, don't get rid of that one. Hi, Canela. I want to play with that um, pink and that lavender. Lisa Hill said she had stopped painting for a bit, doing some beading, but she's thinking she'll get back to this. Yeah, it's nice to take a break, though. Don't force yourself, Carrie. Just go pour a flip cup and see how you feel, and then you'll know if you're ready to paint. Sometimes you just have to step away for a bit. Um, I've been working on those uh, chakras, and doing some finish work stuff that I've been having laying around here forever. So let's use the um, frostbit pink and the winter's lavender. Brian wants to do a painting blindfolded. They would all did that. It was a challenge actually. Brian, I don't think Brian's done it yet. You're going to have to have somebody help you, Brian, for sure. So I need two contrasts for that. So let's go with Liquitex Ponacridone Rose for the pink and for the purple I think I will use uh, let's go with the morning pansy because I think that'll be dark enough I think we need to make a color like this for our line what do you think guys spring line I have spring colors in my head already it's definitely going to be a coral and a lavender. So I'm just going to probably do some flip cups. Yeah. He's going to talk his brother into it. Oh, yeah, his brother will help him. That way I don't have to use a ton of paint in the cup. So I'm going to spray them with the WD-40 silicone spray. I don't forget. Why the strip says round ceramic tiles with question marks? Yeah, we have them in our Amazon shop now. All right, so let's start with the Snow White. This is iridescent pearl. Hello, Kathleen. Glad you could join us. And we're going to follow that with the Morning Pansy Shimmer. I think I want to put a silver in there, too. Let's do... Hmm. All right, we'll use our silver spoon. And follow that with the winter's lavender. These are just so pretty. I was so anxious to use these. <laughs> All right, a little bit more white between those. And so Maria says the round ceramic tiles are not glazed, so you have to prime them first. And Terry asks, how do you prime them? Paint primer, spray paint. Dan said gesso or spray paint. Yep. Juno sleeping next to Canela. Juno is so darn cute. I loved it when he tried to open the door. That cracked me up. You better put a lock on the up, swing lock on that. He'll be going outside by himself. 
gorgeous dog. All right, so now we're going to reverse. Go back with some ink. Some frostbite pink. It's the focus. It's the focus. A little white. Winter's lavender. Karen Hamilton says she loves that Juno has his own channel. <laughs> We figure we've been watching Canella since she got him. So it's fun to watch him grow up on her channel. He's a beautiful dog. I just love he's so vocal. A little white on this top, and then I'm gonna shove a little bit of silver down. Okay, let's slide these over. If you could only see it now, guys. What, because I was boogieing? <laughs> I'm dancing, guys. It's called waiting for your cup to drop. Dance. So the only color we didn't use tonight was the powder blue. So I guess I'll have to do a video with that one. Amy says the cup drop shuffle. Here they come. I have a lot of paint on here. I got lots of room to play. Somebody else feeling left out right now. Yes, Eddie's at the door doing the old uh woof. Here. <laughs> Let him out. Let him in. Here he comes. Hi, Edward. it again. Bring up some more little ones. These colors played well together. I like when you get colors inside of cells. I have two or three different colors. What are you doing, Ed? How you doing? Lots of puppers. So, Kathy Carr's got a question for you. Is there any reason why varnish couldn't be spread like you do your resin? Because it'll crack. <clears throat> varnish doesn't have any polymer in it. Well, not enough polymer in it to not crack. It's made to be put on in thin coats. I've seen people pour 
Liquitex on canvases and I cringe because anytime that I've ever tried it, it cracked. I love this little grouping of cells right here. It's cool. Well, this will be pretty when it's dry because it'll all darken up. And of course, all the frosties will be there. I want to hit this spot again. Camilla wants to know what kind of dog is Eddie? Eddie's a mutt. He's a rescue. He's our rescue dog. He's a part German Shepherd, part Lab. He's got a little rotty in him. A little pit. Too. Maybe a little pit. But he's he only weighs like 28 pounds. He's tiny. He's kind of a shorty. But he's smart. Very smart. But he's severely skittish. So it's like sometimes when I have my camera and I go take a picture of him, he runs because he thinks I'm going to like throw something at him. I'm going to leave that, guys. We'll see what it looks like next Monday. I do see a few skins here I want, though. So I'm going to pull skins, and you guys can ask questions. All dogs need YouTube channels. They want to know when <laughs> Eddie's going to have one. I don't know what we'd name his channel. Do you? Skittish Eddie? <laughs> I don't know. He's pretty skittish, that's for sure. Carrie says, Eddie the Mutt. <laughs> he does do some pretty silly stuff. I mean, getting it on camera would be terrible. Um. I did send Marie a video the night we put our cat down of Eddie kissing Kitty goodbye. He was on his back legs because the cat was up on a chair and he was licking him and crying and giving him a kiss goodbye. But when I showed uh, Maria the video, he uh, was just laying by me crying. He didn't understand why the kitty wasn't playing with him. Teddy Painter wants to know how long... To completely dry tiles before one resins. I try to wait three weeks. Um, you could get away with two. If they have silicone, I like that one week in the powder bath. It just guarantees the silicone's being absorbed by the baby powder. But um, rule of thumb, three weeks. He's, they're trying to name his channel already. <laughs> Canel says, Eddie the Beautiful Mutt. Postman Eddie. <laughs> he took off already. He got tired, so we weren't playing with him. And he said, now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> That'd be perfect for right now. <laughs> I'll have to post a video of him playing with Arthur when we first got him in the backyard. It was Arthur was showing him who was boss. He was running with his tail between his legs after this little Yorkie chasing him. It was funny. Brian says, so you powder clean those? I soak them. I just leave it. I put them in a tray and I just pour shake baby powder all over them and cover them with one of my plastic tops and I just leave them alone for a week or two and then I wipe them off like I normally do and wipe them with alcohol a little bit throw my resin on them I still get resistance once in a while on an edge it's probably for me touching them more than silicone So now I have pinks and purples that I didn't have in my thing. Hello, Ann Osborne. How you doing? Hi, Ann. That was pretty cool. Mm. 
running out of cups. <laughs> so email me if you guys are interested in the winter line. Like I said, I have eight more sets available that I didn't sell yet. They went quick um, the other day. I sold quite a few the other day. So I sat and mixed more and I already know I'm going to sit and mix more this week. <laughs> I have people that are already emailing me. So I like to offer them in the group first. And then we bring it on Monday night to our channel for our live because we have our regulars that come every Monday night. It's like the minute the word gets out, oh, she has new colors. Everybody emails me. Oh, I love this one you guys can see it up close we are definitely going to get our other camera working soon nothing in here to pour on tiles no it's great. this is kind of interesting there too like i need more skins right maria Uh, Marie can never have enough skin. She's so. gonna she's gonna empty my box when she comes. I know she will. I'll have to hide the good ones. <laughs> I got what six and a half months to hide them <laughs> or use them. Okay. Well, there's some pretty stuff under those cups too. Yeah, I'm not going to do the whole dog channel. I don't even have time to work on my own channel, guys. I've got too much going on, you know? And you can make good stuff. We, we have the group. We have uh, the channel. We have the paint business. we got a lot going on. I have a retreat. And now the retreat's coming up. Jerry's. Oh, the Art and Carolina show is this weekend. I'm so excited. I'm going to spend so much money. <laughs> did did Shelly say when they're coming? She hasn't decided what day they're coming. Okay. So we're probably going to end up going Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Because um, there's different things I want to get each day. So that we have enough room in the car. Because buying the canvas for the retreat is definitely going to fill our car. Thank you, Nate. Thanks, Thanks Nate. Support. And um, uh, Nate's got his little list of stuff that he wants me to pick up for him. So I definitely want to do that. And I want to, you know, pick up some different things that I picked up last year. I'd like to get some more of that stuff. But make sure you guys on Friday um, watch the Jerry site because everything's going to be pretty much close to the prices that we're going to be getting. You know, like I said, 50 cent difference sometimes. But um, that's the time to get it. Thanks, Deborah. I appreciate you. So that's it. No more questions. Nate, you're going to have to give me some pointers since you're not going to be able to go live with it. Or I video know. It. We'll see if we can do that while we're there. And I'm going to see if I can um, do some pour painting with Amy from Jerry's. So if I do that, then I'll make Alan film it. <laughs> we're using the Lucas um, acrylics, the fluid acrylics, which I, they sent me. So we need to do a video with that, too. I would love to try those for um, Dutch pours. And I would also love to try them with the new Shelly Bloom technique. So we will see. Try to catch up with your buddy from, what was it, Golden or no? Yeah, my buddy from, no, Grumbacher. Grumbacher. My Grumbacher buddy. And then Mike too. Yes. And Mike Marquetta. And maybe we'll get to meet Tiffany. She's our affiliate director with Jerry's. Since I'm a brand ambassador for Jerry's, I get to hang out with the crew. So that'll be fun.
But thanks so much for joining us to get tonight, guys. Um, just email me if you want paint. Um, if you have auction pieces that need to be paid for, try to get that done this week for me soon so I can get them all out of the studio. And, and in your hands. And in your hands, yes, because we are like Amazon Prime. Things get there in two days. Three at the most. Right? So... We had a great time again tonight, and we will see you all again Wednesday. I'll be on Wednesday, and we'll be back here again Monday Night Live at 9 p.m. Eastern, as per usual. So, bye, guys. Have a great night. Have a good evening. Bye now. <laughs>